Franklin, say hi. Are you a good boy? Are you the bestest boy in the whole world? So we adopted a dog. Yes, we did. Come here, you want this squeaker? So we adopted Franklin, so I thought a video about him would be great. So Franklin is the new member in our family. He is just, he's already a crazy boy. Huh, Franklin, are you the best boy? And he has been the best thing ever. So I thought I'm going to make a video about him. Just like everything you guys need to know because you've seen a lot of videos of him like on TikTok and YouTube. And I'll just tell you the full story about Mr. Franklin here. So we recently adopted and found Franklin at a local dog rescue. See, we wanted to maybe go through a breeder because originally we wanted a Frenchie or a Doberman. That was like our dream breeds to have, which maybe one day, but we just started to feel led to just look at local rescues, see what they have because you know, these little guys, they need homes too. And at the end of the day, I would rather like rescue and adopt a little guy from a shelter that needs a home versus a breeder. So that's what we did originally. So Wyatt found him and on the website, he was listed as a Great Dane. And I grew up with Great Danes. I love Great Danes so much. So I was like, oh my gosh, our first dog being a Great Dane would be the funnest thing ever. And so we were like, okay, let's just put in an application. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. If it's not, it's not. And um, yeah, so we went through that process. I was kind of going insane because you don't really know the whole time whether he's available or not. So my OCD self, my stressful self, my everything. I'm just like, what if we don't get him? I'm already attached to him. I already love him so much. What if someone else adopts him? Like all the things. So I was already attached. Wyatt was kind of just like, can you please calm down? Is that true? Is that true? His great grandpa gave him his ball. <laughs> but anyway, so Wyatt was like, calm down, we'll see what happens. So we kind of went through the process of applying. You had to apply like a real like online application and then you had to have a virtual home check kind of for them to just see like, is your home fit for this dog? Is it safe for this dog? Do you have enough room for a dog? And so they kind of go through that process and see if we can even take Franklin <laughs> and just kind of things like, could he fall down the stairs? Do you have window well covers? All the things, which I think is really cool. So they're really into like the best fit for the dog instead of like, oh, they applied first, they get it. It's really about best fit, which I also thought was cool, but also was stressful for me. And so we went through the application, home visit, we got approved. And then you kind of just had to wait for the foster mom to contact you because he was with a foster family, a really great one too. We got to meet her and she was amazing. And I just the whole week was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to hear. I was like checking my email every day. I was checking my text messages every day. Every day I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. And then I get this text and she goes, so he's definitely not a Great Dane. We saw that he was listed as a Great Dane on the website. He's definitely a pit bull mix. Like he has some pit bull in him. And she was like, do you still want him? And I was like, I already love him. It's fine. And so we had to make sure we weren't in a pit bull restricted area because there are some areas um, that do not allow pit bulls. And since we don't know for sure what he is, um, but he definitely has some pit in him, which we'll maybe have to do a DNA test. Yes, so we weren't in a restricted area. That's great. And the person who wanted, ow. <laughs> The person who wanted Franklin before us and who applied for him, she or he was in a restricted area. So then we were next and I was like, ah. And so I'm still not getting my hopes up too much. Like we get to meet him, we get to do a little meet and greet, but I don't know if we get to like take him home that night. But I'm like texting with the lady. Come here, come here. Let me pick him up for y'all. Say hi to them. Do you wanna say hi to them? Are you mad? Are you mad? Yeah, so 
You want to get down? <laughs> yeah, so I'm texting with the lady and I'm like, okay, what do I need to know? What do I need to bring? And she's like, bring a collar and you can have the leash. Or no, she's like, bring a leash, but you can have the collar he's wearing. And I'm like, have? As in, we can take him home if we're a good fit? And so then I'm freaking out at that point. So then I'm like, okay, this is definitely a possibility. And she ends up bringing him over to our house and we met him and we fell in love with him instantly. And since then, he's been our little our little son. <laughs> I'm a dog mom now. Um, but he is three months as of recording this and he is the most fun ever. We now think that he's maybe like a Weimaraner, Pitbull mix because he looks just like those puppies when you google them but we don't know for sure eventually we'll do a DNA test but he's awesome he has so much energy now he loves playing he's so cute and that's really everything about Franklin I'm sure you guys are gonna see so much more but the process of adopting was honestly really smooth it took like a week from applying to get him and so that was an incredible process and if you guys are in the Colorado area I know they work with a shelter in Oklahoma as well but if you're in the Colorado area we rescued him from Big Bones canine rescue and so I definitely recommend it's been smooth sailing so far Franklin has like all of his shots for his age and all that good stuff so it was amazing. We love Franklin. You guys are going to see more of him, but I just wanted to share like the little story of him. He's fitting in so well in the family and we love him and you guys already love him. If you want to see more videos of him, I've already posted a ton on TikTok and Instagram, but I love you guys and I will see you again very, very soon. 